got off a boat over here at Battery Park. I'm actually a New Yorker, lived here most of my life, and um, I was just got off the boat down here in Lower Manhattan. I'm a tour guide, and so I was just um, trying to see what was going on down here today. I'm not working today, and uh, I've given many tours of the World Trade Center site. I just wanted to see what was going on. What's uh, the common inquiries you're getting from your the people who come on your tours? Well, mostly um, they want to know what happened and what the effect uh, the event was on New York. I usually share with them a little bit of what it was like to be here at the time and what happened. Some of the people that we knew. And what, what kind of response do you give normally? Um, usually very, very positive. I mean, people are very grateful to know a little more about the story. It's very hard to kind of even, I, get, I guess, get your mind around it if you weren't here. It's even hard to believe having lived here at the time, you know. And, and it's 10 years has passed. Uh, how do you feel the city's changed or the people? Uh, we live a lot differently. We, we still live a lot differently. We go on alert every time something happens around the world. All of a sudden it affects us and we're reliving it constantly. It seems like um, it never ends. Yeah, along that line, do you think it will ever end? Um, I don't know. It's kind of hard. It's, it's, it's kind of a mixed feeling I have about it because one of the reasons why I agreed to give tours is because I think it's important people know the story and that it doesn't become just a photo op for visitors, that they understand that these were real people, these were our friends, these were our neighbors that we lost on September 11th. And uh, what do you want to say to people who are who are just here for, to the city uh, 10 years later? Because again, you know, if you came here today, besides a couple of areas like this, it seems like it's uh, business as usual here. Right. Um, well, if you're coming down here, um, just understand that this is really a sacred space for a lot of us. About 40% of the people, there were never any remains found. So don't throw coins into the reflecting pools, please. Respect it for what it is.